All right, all right, we're gonna get started. Hi guys, welcome back to Koozie Talk, the hottest new podcast where we sit with beautiful, successful, talented women. We share inspirational stories, talk about fun topics, play a little fun steamy games depending on their mood, of course. Yes, we're on episode 26, which is crazy. I'm your host, Tracy Z. And before I get started, I wanna introduce you to my guests for the night, my beautiful, gorgeous guests, my beautiful friends. We got Danny Mack. She is an Aquarius, and it's her birthday today. Yes, and she's from Inglewood, like me. Yes, Inglewood. Inglewood. I love it. And then we have <laughs> Sue Ivy. Hi, gorgeous. Hello. Yes, Sue Ivy is a singer-songwriter, and she's a Libra. And Danny's a professional dancer. I forgot to mention that. So this episode is very, very special because it's my girl Danny's birthday today. So please wish her a happy birthday in the chat, please. And I have a special surprise for you, of course. It wouldn't be right if I wouldn't do this, you know? We just, we, we have to, we have to, we have to. Yes! So hold on a second. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and Sue's the singer. Come on, Sue! Oh Come on, girl! Yay. Happy birthday to you. For me? For you, girl. Yes, sing it, girl. You sing better, yeah. Okay, so you notice there was a three on the cake. Yes. yes. Yes, because we know there's a three in her age, and we're not going to tell her age. But there's a three <laughs> in it, damn it. Yes. Okay, so girls, before we dive into the fun hot topic questions, I want you guys to get to know my gorgeous guest. Starting off with the birthday girl, Danny Mack. She's a professional dancer. And right now, I want to show you a clip of her getting down. Yeah. Here's Danny back. Hey. <laughs> That was Danny Mag doing her thing. Girl, so let's dig into this dance career that you yes. have. So how long have you been dancing? I have been dancing since I came out the womb. Right? Out the womb. Yeah. But technically, I'll say like 13 plus. 13 plus? Yes, 13 young, plus. Young, young. Yeah, 13 plus. I started off doing drill team at first. Drill team? Mm -hmm. And then onto drill team, I wanted to get more into the know hip hop singer yeah you know get more into the, the rhythm and the beats yeah and all that so yeah that's that's me okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so also what what how would you describe your dance style what is your main forte when it comes to dancing my main forte when it comes to dancing mm. I just do me okay freestyle just be doing that whatever yeah, you do come, whatever day. Yeah, whatever comes to mind, clowning, crumping, yeah. and how long have you how long have you been doing that dance stuff? Crumping. I was clown dancing for I'll say twelve plus years so do you as still, well. Do you currently still do it? Yes, I do. Yes, I currently still yes. do it. Yes. Yes. I love it. And how long have you been doing the crumping? Well, clowning plus? for twelve plus years. Twelve plus. Is it called clowning or crumping? Well, I do clowning. Okay, the difference between clowning and crumping. Clowning Educate is more. Me, girl. Is, okay, so the difference between between clowning and crumping, clowning is more fun. Yeah. Like you have fun and talk with the crowd, et cetera, et cetera. And crumping is more aggressive. Oh. I don't I don't give off the aggressive but if We're you just, want if you want me to give off the aggressiveness, well, I you can, can do it. but you could do it. Other than that, I just be more girly and sassy with my but it, it could come out if it wants to, you yeah. know. But, okay. Yeah, that's it. 
Do you know where crumping originated from? Yes, I do, but that's well crumping is literally not like my area. Yeah. But you know, shout out to Tommy this Mound. Yes. That's where I started. Yes. He's been doing it for yes, a long been time. Doing it. For long, a long, long time. time. Anybody from LA know who Tommy the Clown is? They definitely do. Yes. And if you've seen the movie Rise, you know. And did. So, yeah, that's where it originated. Have you ever been on any tours or? Um, well, I did multiple battle zones. I haven't been on any tours. What's a battle like. zone? What's that? Battle zone is where all the clown, like different clown groups compete head to head. Oh wow! But it's me, like me, pers me personally, I never battled because you know I'm, I was just that rat. Like <laughs> I, I just never did that. But you know, don't test me. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's where it must be. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> and now I want to show you guys a clip of the beautiful Sue Ivy doing her thing as a singer songwriter. She's a beautiful singer, has a gorgeous voice. So I want to, I want you guys to hear it. Here's Sue Ivy, guys. Sue Ivy. So I kind of just go into the vocal booth and I kind of freestyle. Oh, so I'm you have to melodies. hear the beat first. Yes. Okay, and then it just comes to you. Yes. I'll journal and I'll write, but when it comes to actually creating music, I am a strong like melody creative. Yeah. And then I go back and write. So That's awesome. yeah, you fill in it's the fun. Blanks. It's fun. I do yeah. a little bit. I do audio engineer. I work on Pro Tools too. So. Oh, you produce also. I engineer in my own sessions wow, and other artists. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> And when you when you're songwriting, is it a lot about your life, or is it about maybe friends and store other stories? It's a mixture of both. Mixture um, both. Most of it is about personal, um, but it's more like the positive personal. Yes. I have trouble. I'm trying to tap more into my um, heartbroken songwriter era. Okay. You know? Yeah. I feel Those like songs always do good. I have a blog, but I want to try. I'm working on opening that part up. Okay. In my songwriting. And what would you say stage. your music style is? Would it's R&B uh, with a little bit of hip-hop. A little bit like of hip-hop. Vibe. Okay. Yeah. And what about your topics? My topics are more like less vibe. The vibe is always the foundation. Yeah. But it could be a vibe of, ooh, you're cute, what's up? Or like, ooh, we outside, we're kicking it with the friends, yes. the girlfriends, yes. or it's a vibe, let's link up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I love it. It's a more romantic vibe. Yes. A little bit. Yes, I love <laughs> that. All right. Well, that was Sue Ivy and Danny Mac. 
And now we're going to dig into these fun hot topic questions. I want to pick their brains and see, you know, give them some thought provoking questions, you know? All right, first question. <laughs> we're going to start fun. What's the worst pickup line you've ever heard? If any, if any. What's the worst pickup line I've ever heard? Has anybody um, given you a bad pickup line? No, really. No. no. And you're in a relationship, so yeah. this, this question doesn't apply. I haven't had no <laughs> pickup, like no bad pickup. Okay, next question. What was your most embarrassing moment? Not, you want to go first? No, go first. Birthday girl, I saw you. Birthday girl goes first. Either way. Okay, so my most embarrassing moment was I had did a show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did a show and it was long. And Tommy was going to blow the whip soap, but he just kept it going. It was at Southwest College. We had okay. did a, it was a battle zone, actually. Yeah. It was one of my favorite battle zones. And, um... We had on Doc Martin boots and I was tired and the dancing in Doc Martin boots, it weighs you down. Yeah. So I just kept dancing and dancing. I kept, I looked back at him. I was dancing and then the music just kept going. Like at that point, like I gave him a cue, like stop. Like and that keep, was, that and was, and I kept dancing. going. So I just bust the split. <laughs> but that, but you did good. It seemed like. I did do good. So it wasn't really embarrassing. To me it was. <laughs> Cause I was tired. Them boots have me tired. You wanted it to be done and yeah. over with. Oh that my was gosh. my first time dancing with Doc Martin boots. So. Is it hard to dance with Doc Martin boots? Yes. It is. They're heavy. They're heavy. They're really heavy. So. Right. That was my most embarrassing. <laughs> I don't really have an embarrassing moment. You don't? I'm just very like, okay, well, I mess up. I'm silly. I'm clumsy already, naturally. Just keep so going. I just keep going like, oops, y'all seen that? Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, no worries. Next question. What is your weirdest guilty pleasure? Yes. Like. <laughs> like, do you have something weird that you're into? Oh no. Like a weird guilty pleasure. Like my. Oh, I like the smell of gasoline. Oh. Okay. All right. I love the smell of gasoline <laughs> since I was a kid. I do too. I love fresh paint smell and yeah. then like fresh the acrylic when you're going into a nail shop. So that would be your powder. weirdest guilty pleasure. I love the smell of gasoline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you guys think the world will look like in 50 years? A mess. A mess. In 50 years? In 50 years. How so? There's going to be a lot going on. Well, robots. Like we, we you just, you just get a bunch of robots running just around. Just a whole bunch of robots running around. What about you, Sue? I think it would be a lot of super innovative, high tech. Um, what do they call them now? They're not Gen Zs. They're Alphas mm -hmm. now. Um, in the world, fighting with the millennials <laughs> in 50 years. <laughs> I think so, um, because I feel like the millennials and the Alphas right now. They have somewhat similar, but very strong. Like it's a thin line between love and hate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel like politics-wise, yeah. we might be clashing. Whatever that means. <laughs> High tech, natural, GMO, <laughs> whatever that means. Genetically yeah. modified um, natural foods, organic foods. Oh, too. Yeah. now they have fake meats. That's scary. I'm selling that. I hope I've never had that. They, they. I think they just briefly. Did a soft lunch in San Diego? Yeah. What, well, no, San Francisco. So it's not in LA San yet. Francisco. Up it's not in LA yet. Mm. No. Okay, okay. Thank God. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, hey, no. I'm scared of that. I don't no, know if seriously. I'm ready to eat some fake meat. Yeah. And like it's 3D printed. I saw I saw the 3D printed chicken. It's like, that's, oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Yeah, I, I think there will be either. a difference of who you see that's really prepared and um, super into uh, wanting to be a survival yeah a survivalist and then someone that's like oh, i don't care whatever and now I need, what and now is. i need help <laughs> okay so my next question 
What is the craziest thing you've ever done for love? <laughs> Wait, why did you look at me like that? No, listen, because I was watching one of your, your <laughs> last podcast. And what I, is the One of the homegirls has said, waited too long. And I was like, wow, I felt that. Yeah, that resonated in my soul. I so don't know waited if I could too tell. That, that waited is, too long. Yeah. That's crazy. I think that, that tops crazy. any and everything. Okay. But the craziest thing I feel like I've ever done, I probably should not be able to talk about. <laughs> What about you, Danny? Danny Mac? The craziest? The craziest thing you've done for love, girl. What have you done, girl? You an Aquarius. I know I you done some Aquarius. crazy shit for love. Because I know some Aquarius, and they be having... Girl. No? I'll, I'll blow up your phone. Oh, okay. That's a crazy that's thing. That's crazy to me. How many times have you called a person for love? Like, how many times? What was the max <laughs> that you think it was? <laughs> I'll say... If you don't pick up on that first ring, I'm going to keep continuously calling it. Give us a number, girl. Is it giving uh, say, 20, 30? No, it's not giving that. It's giving like five. Oh, that's not a lot. Yeah. That's it's not. Lie. No, it's not. I thought you were like that. Like, okay, no, okay. I wouldn't like 20. No, no, nothing. Okay, okay. So I was positive, positive, yeah. On a positive note, the craziest thing I've ever done for love, like, was work-related. Going and taking a ride with my significant other of... We got work, all right, now we gotta fly here. We only got two hours of sleep. And yeah. we just have to push through. And I haven't done that until mm -hmm. currently. Yeah. And I'm like, dang, we really just, I wanna sleep. Yeah, no, you, I'm gonna do this. You went okay. a long I amount of time without together. sleeping. That's the yeah. craziest thing you've done for love. Though. Yeah. The amount yeah. of time of sleeping. All right. Over, over everything. Yes. If you could make one book or a movie a reality, which would you choose? A book or a movie? A Make reality. it a reality. Yes. Who will you choose? Which book? The movie I would choose. I'll choose Baby Boy. Baby Boy? I'll turn that into a book. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. This is like to, for it to be real life. Oh, in real life? In real life. Oh. Baby Boy? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Danny, you hood. And I like it. <laughs> she said the baby boy she will make it to reality <laughs> I love that answer what about you Sue I would say Harry Potter Harry Potter yeah I that's, agree with that that's magic. different I love yeah. Harry Potter I need to travel I need to like fly I need to I love fantasy movies. Things, yeah. I'm scared of that ride at Universal Studios. So I'm not gonna, I you don't know like what? It. I have not gotten a chance to go to the, uh, the Harry Potter the ride. ride on the yeah, it scares amazing. me. It's Why? So I don't know. It just scares me. <laughs> oh, is it? It's not like no, a roller coaster, it. is it? No, you got to use your imagination. Oh, I love that. I would love that ride. <laughs> I, I, listen, I, I'm a thrill seeker. Like, oh, yeah. I, I've You'll been, love it. You'll love I've it been skydiving, coaster. bungee jumping. I love crazy roller coasters. All that. Yeah, You'll so, love it. So Harry Potter would be a walk in the park. You'll love it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I have to go. I have yeah. to check this out. <laughs> All right. Do you think it's possible to be friends with an ex? I'm not I'll friends be, oh. with an ex. Okay. That makes sense. Well, it all depends. <laughs> oh, on. But it's not bad. It either. depends on the terms you guys left on. Okay, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. So if you did like some shady stuff, like you know, see more out your friend, just any like it right. all depends. But oh, yeah. you know, so for you it, it could be possible depending on the reason. Yeah, okay. it all depends. All right, what is your definition of true love? Mm -hmm. Text me good morning. But I'll just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay. If that's what it is for you. Text I can wake up. Like, you want a text in the morning? Yeah, That's the definition of true love for you. Yeah, text me. A text. And call me during the day. Okay. All right. See what how is, I'm doing. What is the definition of <laughs> check up on me? Check yeah. up. Yes. Like, see what you yeah. Doing. See what I'm doing. Um, I'm more like see everything through. Okay. Prayer, foundation. Oh, definitely. Um, support me. I support you, mm -hmm. and we are a team. Um, no team matter us. what. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> what is the most important quality you look for in a partner? Communication. 
Communication is very important. That's number one. That's key for sure. <laughs> what about you, Sue? The alcohol is like that thing. Thank <laughs> you. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. It's starting to kick in. It I, is. I, I took. A, a, Welcome, a, to how many shots you take? Welcome to Cozy Talk. Welcome to Cozy Talk. Matter of fact, speaking of shots, before you answer that question, <laughs> we Welcome said we would take talk. a shot in the Cozy, even though I'm <laughs> feeling it already. <laughs> You know okay, what? We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna take it because really that means the cool moon stuck. segment will be it's fun. It's her birthday, y'all. <laughs> it's her birthday. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little tipsy, guys. Me too. So if you hear a little slur in the question, don't judge me. <laughs> take a shot with and us. If you hear me I blame, the I blame a little my friend's slow. birthday. I blame her birthday. That's why. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm already a little, you know. I'm and if late. you don't hear me over here, like. I'm a little, the, you know, the jacuzzi enhances everything. <laughs> well, it's a celebration over here, y'all. Woo! And I've been smoking. Hey. So besides drinking, I've been sm so I'm like cross faded a little bit. Hopefully, I can make it through the show. You will. You will. <laughs> you will. Happy we birthday, will. babe! I love you so Thank much. Thank you. I love, I love you. Guys. Cheers. Cheers. Eye contact. 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 <laughs> I hope I don't regret that. I really hope I don't regret that. Ooh. Thank you, love. <laughs> All right. So what was the question? Dang, what, so was, what was, was the question? question? No, definitely, no, we said definition. Oh, no, no, no. What is the most important quality you look for in a partner? And you said communication. Communication, yes. And your I answer is? I jokingly said, that deep. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for, I, I, would, I mean, the leader, the leadership. The leadership, think. okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. What is the most <laughs> what is the most important lesson you have learned about love? I didn't get the question out, y'all. Take your time. Take your time. I yeah, don't that. rush it, sweet. Yeah. Good. Baby's like, I'm just gonna pick you back off that answer. Yeah, <laughs> don't rush. Cause me, Aquarius, right here. I'm like, I like. You. <laughs> Love you back. Have you ever had a crush on a fictional character? If so, who was it? Mm. So this this character doesn't exist. So it's okay to say who it might be. Um, listen, go um the Goofy movie Power Lines. Is that his name? From um, the Goofy movie? I've got myself in motion. So you so have Tevin a crush Campbell. on that I think it was character. Tevin Campbell's voice. Yeah, Tevin Campbell's voice. Oh, the voice. Yeah. Okay. The voice, yep. That is a nice voice. What about you? Um, Caroline. Caroline, yep. <laughs> Mine? Yes. Oops, I'm, I'm a cartoon person, baby. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you never had one. Uh, you know what? Maybe not. I don't think I have one, y'all. I love this question because it's just funny to me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever accidentally called your partner by the wrong name? If so, how did they react? I never did. Never did. No? no? I never. Damn. I was hoping you guys said it. I had a full story about it. No. <laughs> That's why I laughed. I was like, ooh. <laughs> okay. That's never happened. All right. Okay. What is the most important thing you have learned about compromise in a relationship? Ooh, we indeed. Compromising in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm a Libra, so I'm supposed to be balanced, and my guy is a Taurus, so I'm still like, let's balance, but I'm still right. Figure it out. Um, so I don't know yet. I'm still learning. Okay, that's a very honest answer. I yes. love that. I love that. I, I'm You're still learning. We're currently both trying to compromise. Okay. Um, and we're meeting each other, but we're figuring out it out on how it works for the both of us. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I love that. What about yeah. you well, for me? For <laughs> you, girl. For me personally, I never really got real deep into like relationship. Like I never really been like the relationship type of person because I've been. I was a mean girl like growing up. 
I never liked Really? Yes. Then I, that's hard for me to believe. I was. You're such a sweetheart. I really was a mean girl, like, growing up. You like, know what? But now thinking about it, you are an Aquarius, though. So. I was Aquarius mean. Aquarius girls can be if can they I want share to a story? Be. Yes. Yeah. Story okay, time. When, when, I, <laughs> <laughs> when I was in elementary school, it was this guy. He, it was about, it, like, it was for Valentine's Day. Okay. He gave me a beer and stuff like that. Like, I just was a mean girl. He gave me a beer and I threw it at him. Like, that was so mean. Why did you throw it at him? You wanted just something being, more? Just being mean. You didn't want the beer. I didn't want the beer. What like, did you I want? didn't like you. Like, I was in the fifth grade. Like, I just was a mean girl. And what? Like, okay, when, so it came, when it what? came to company coming to my house, I never liked people. Like, okay, so a question. Me, like, coming to that. From what age to what age were you a mean girl? I'll say, I'm not going to say my whole life, but like, I, I have been mean from it, but when I graduated fifth grade. I'm shocked. So like, no, like my I, mouth like is open because I'm to, like, no, seriously, Danny, I, you're such a sweetheart. I know. The older I got, the more. So I met you at a good you period. Know, yes, you did. Because <laughs> I really was mean. Like, I didn't like nobody like, around me. Like, none of that. Like, wow. I grew out of that. <laughs> yeah, you did. Because I would have never. I, I was today years old finding out. Out about I'm you, and it's like a friend of mine. I didn't, I never I, knew that about I really her because the first day I met her, she was like the sweetest, sweetest person, and mm -hmm. she still is. Wow, interesting. Okay, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ramen, ramen, mm -hmm. yes, that was pizza. quick. Friend. That's your I shit. I did too. Pleasure. I do love noodles. Why well, this pizza? I love Italian food. Yeah, so I did good tonight. Yes, you did uh -huh. for your birthday. Mm, exactly. Yes. Oh, I love that. Okay. All right. Should you disclose your mental health issues to a partner early in a relationship? What is early? I mean, yeah. I mean, let's call it before the intimate stage. Oh, no, no, because some people will. They will throw that in your, like, throw it at you. Like, yeah. whatever you. I, don't, I just early. No, you know what? It's not intimate stage because it says relationship. So you're already in a relationship with this person, so, but it's new. So should the person disclose any mental health issues before, like, you know, yes. early yeah. on? Yes. That's what I, I guess who opens up to I it first. I think it was like medication, like if you need to take medication for it, or you have had had to take classes or some sort of therapy. Yeah. For sure, that. Um, trauma, I think so too, to a certain extent. I mean, I would um, want to know. When you're able to, yeah. when you feel like you can trust that significant other. Yeah. yeah. Once you know you can, you guys, the goal is to be together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. But if the goal is we're together long term, but it might just be promiscuous, no. We're not, we're not, yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Well, yeah, because if it's just for fun, you yeah, don't need to know anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do it. Oh, Tell me about... <laughs> 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 Tell me about three, three of your most influential people in your life and how they have impacted you. Mm. I'll go first. I'll say my mom, number one. Okay. My grandma. Yes. And thirdly, no, God. That's number one. Okay. My mom and my grandma. Those yes. two. And how have those three influential people impacted you? Just being by my side, with my backbone since day one. It's been a good support system. Support system. Yeah. Through it all. Okay. Look right and I love it. Um, so far as people, I would say um, my mother, my father, and my grandmothers. Just there. My grandmothers. Yes. They're, they're one. Um, my mom, she is a surviving citizen from Cambodia during the Khmer Rouge so she's definitely taught me what it means to truly love what it means to truly set a foundation be about your family and survive with good intentions and love okay. and my dad yes. as well like he's always shown me what it means and what it looks like to have a father figure mm -hmm. and a dad that's just there all the time works hard making sure everything's taken care of i've never had to worry about anything yeah and made it seem like even though we didn't have extravagant things but yeah. he still always i always thought i didn't know like okay like we're cool yeah you know we on mm -hmm. some chill minimalist things but he made me feel like 
we were on top of the world. So oh, I love foundation. that. Yes, foundation. Yes. That's important. So someone yes, in the chat that. said, "What were your, what were your performance be in a talent show?" And I feel like I, you would do something with dance, and you would do oh my singing. Gosh. Yes. Right? Yeah. I kind of answered that. Or I don't okay, know. Okay. So want to go first? <laughs> yes, yes. Seriously. Okay. So Ele back to elementary school. Yes. Me and three other girls, we did Christina Aguilera, Jeannie in a Bottle. <laughs> I love that song. I, I still we did that for the show. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. So, you would perform a dance we number to that? Yes. If, if you were to perform yes. a talent show? Yes. Okay. And Sue, what song would you sing in the talent show? I would sing... Jeannie. No. Uh, a her song. A her song. Something from her, maybe focus from her. Focus, yeah, yes. Shout out to one pro I, for that <laughs> for that question. <laughs> Those are your answers right there. What would you, well, you know? Was, no, you know what's crazy? I did that in the actual. I thought that's what the question meant. I did that in the actual talent show. Okay, no, they I were really saying did. what would you, what would oh, your what, performance what, be what, if oh, the talent show? Yeah, and so I was saying that. Oh no, because I did that. Yeah, <laughs> I really did that song. <laughs> <laughs> so then that would be your oh, answer so, too. Or something else? No, it'll be another song. Okay. That's what I really did in the talent show, that song. But, um, let me see, let me see. Fat Man Scoop, how to play? I'll do that one. Yes? Breathe Fat Man Scoop? Breathe out, yeah. Yes, yeah. Fat Man Scoop, breathe in, breathe out. I'll do that in the talent show. <laughs> yeah, I'll do, yeah, I'll do that. That's Breathe yes. Yeah, I never did that. Like, I would do that in the talent show. Yeah. I love that song, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Have you, last question, and we're gonna move on. Have you ever made a decision that changed your life? <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> what was it? Um, my decision was to uh, just block all the negativity out of my life. Just whoever wasn't meant to be in my circle, mm -hmm. get removed ASAP and that's what happened. Okay. What about you, Sue? <laughs> uh, seeing things through a manifestation. So I have been really trying to make it a point to pray and move forward with how I am placed in things that work for me intentionally. Okay. Yeah. Successfully. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yes. <laughs> All, All right. positive vibes. <laughs> I love that. Okay, guys. Before we go into our mood segment, here's a message from our sponsors. Koozie Talk is brought to you by Always Together Management, your partner in every transaction. Safido Candle Company, where our candles are made with love. Arts District Cannabis in downtown LA. When you go visit, use promo code Koozie Talk for 25% off. <sighs> Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They're stretching their legs. Like stretch. <laughs> so that and was the message from our sponsors, and now we're going to go to our mood segment. But before we do, I want to know, girls, what is your mood? Halo or horns? I'm a halo. You're going to go halo. <laughs> All right. We got an angel. <laughs> <gasps> Yay! And what about you, Sue? I'm gonna go. Ooh, I don't have a lot of horn stories, but okay. I'm gonna go horns. Okay. Wow. Period. I was like, I, wow. I I got that. I got that. I'm actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm surprised. I actually got this wrong because. <laughs> wait, can I we do thought, both? Wait, oh, you do wait, halo I, and horns, and I do horns. Listen, I both. thought that Danny was gonna pick horns, and I thought. No, I really Sue, was, but I was trying to. I could do both. You wanna do both? I've had hybrids <laughs> before. <laughs> I've had angel demons before. <laughs> you should have moved. I'm close. Yeah. All right. So we're going to give our horns. We, we have a hybrid for the night. Uh uh, the shoulders. Because I honestly thought Danny was going to pick horns and you yeah, were going to pick it. Do it. <laughs> no, don't do it. All right. So we got a hybrid. So you're going to need a mixture of both. Okay. I'm excited. We're going to start Halo. This is for fun, you guys. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Birthday, birthday should be horns. You know what? That is oh, true. Yeah, okay. That is true. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna take, take this off. off. <laughs> Not us being influenced by the chat. <laughs> right. Peer pressure. <laughs> peer pressure. 
All right, so no, she. You gotta be horns. Oh, I mean, it's your birthday. You've been drinking. Yeah. I right. know you feel it, cause I do. Do you feel it? Ah! Oh, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I get these horns on? Okay, here, here we okay, go. Here we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> It's a scarf. It's slippery. Yes. Okay. All right. We're good. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we got two demons. All right. All right. Let me switch cards because I, I had it on the halo. All right. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you faked an orgasm, or if ever? Well, I'm, going first. Oh. I'm a Libra babe. I don't fake orgasm. Okay. <laughs> I have to excuse myself. All right. So she's never oh, faked. Yeah. I'm not going to fake it. If <laughs> you're not. So you guys no, both communicate no, no. what you want. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't necessarily say communicate, but in a certain way, I'm like, oh, I got it. Yeah. So you never faked and you've never faked. No. no. It's, it's all right, happy, baby. Okay. Have you ever had sex with someone much younger or older than you? Older. No. Older? How old? 22 years older. Okay. Yeah. All right. That is much older. <laughs> My boo. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is considered younger, but say like, example, if I was like 19, that person was like 17. Is that good? Yeah. A little tender on Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, questions. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> I mean, you guys did pick horns. I it did is say, my birthday. It was a birthday. I did say if you pick horns, they're going to be spicy. I yeah, did say that. Yeah. I warned. <laughs> and there's no pressure. You can skip. Yes. All right, all right, right. <laughs> do, you like for, do you like for your partner to be silent or loud? <laughs> I don't want to say loud, but I do like it when my partner speaks to me here and there. Okay, so things. words. Yes. Okay. Is there specific? Low moan. Okay. Moaning. Yeah. I'm gonna not too thing. loud, not too silent. Like Whisper. Chill. Yeah. Okay, chill. Yeah. What about Whispers. you, Daddy? That's crazy. Whispers? Yes. Okay, so you no. Know, get, get, get me through it. Get you through it. <laughs> I think that'd be crazy if a man was louder than... Don't be like... Like, that would be crazy. Yeah. That would be crazy. Maybe. I don't know. Let me not say that. It would, I think no, that, that would be. I'll be scared. Just for me. Just for me. <laughs> All right. Does size matter to you? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it, it matters. It matters. Yes, it, it matters. Does. Okay. All right. Would you ever have a threesome? No. 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 Is there a reason why? Right. No. No. I just don't have the intense. Like that's never been a thing for you. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Sherry sensual, <laughs> Sherry sensual experience. I can't even get the word out. That took you by surprise. I got one. Okay, oh. girl, let's hear it. The hot towel after, right after. Wait, what do you mean? Maybe like a minute after. A hot towel? You're done. Yes. And what happens with a hot towel? On your like, am I allowed to say clip? You're allowed to say whatever you oh, want. Okay, so the hot towel on your... Oh, that's different. Okay, so what towel. is that like? I've never heard of this. Okay. And then like, you're back into it. Oh. It's kind of like a reset, but it's a nice, like when you climax, and then you're still in the heat of everything. Oh, wow. Maybe too much. Try it. No, Try no, no. It. I've yeah, never tried it. Okay. Yeah. I was today years <laughs> old finding this out. The hot wet towel oh, yeah. after you, you know. A hot okay. towel. Mm -hmm. That's okay. okay. They're wrong. They're wrong. But have babe do it. You don't do it. Babe has to do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that's after the first climax. Okay. For you. Ooh. Oh, the first. Okay. I never know. Yes. Okay, Libra game. <laughs> okay. We have to try it. That's a whole. Yeah. I, I'll show you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You just okay. gotta kind of place it and kind of like. We'll okay. do, do pulse it a little bit. It's hot. I'm blown away. It's so sexy. I'm blown away. Yeah. What about you, Danny? Has there been a sex? I mean, a sexual, sensual experience. <laughs> Essential. I mean, it is sexual, but yeah. sensual experience that took you by surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 
Not really. No? Oh, oh okay. Nobody surprised you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so moral of the story is, babes. <laughs> <laughs> A birthday girl needs some than to share about in the future, next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> We've been drinking, y'all. No, no, okay. no, no, you can keep. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, <laughs> girl. All right, Sherry's steamy fantasy. You've never admitted to anyone. You say it one What's more that time. Again? Sherry's steamy fantasy. You've never admitted to anyone. Hmm. Yeah. Something you're into that you've never exposed. <laughs> <laughs> I need to shut that one. I can't do that. <laughs> Danny. Birthday girl. Well, birthday girl. What's your answer, birthday girl? You go first every time. I mean, it's kind of steamy. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe to you it's not steamy, but to somebody else it might be. So boom, I'm in the wilderness. Second <laughs> Wilderness. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's actually hot, but I'd be scared if something like pops out, like a tiger or yeah, something. I, I like the box. Those, those, those I don't know. Cabins, those cabins where they have little glass walls where you can kind of see everything in the winter. You see the wolves. Have you seen those videos? That's romantic. I have on the IG. Yeah, it's like, hey, they might break into this wall, but like, it's kind of hot. No. I don't like that. What about you, Danny? Um, I'll say, you said something steamy? Yeah. A steamy fantasy that you've never admitted. I mean, I've heard all kinds of things. I've heard blindfolds. I don't like that man cuffs and all uh, that blindfold. Uh, that's not. Then he's like, I gotta see what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want no blindfold. I would say, um, you could tie, but don't handcuff. I would say that would be okay. So tying. Yeah, Have you ever been tied, Danny? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never tied. Okay, so that's a steamy fantasy you've never shared to anyone. And now everybody knows. I've never been tied, e but tied how? I've never been tied either. Like the standard, because there is there are those I don't people know. that like to get tied and hung. Oh, I don't like know you know hung. all the, all around their bodies. Oh, oh, you can be oh, yeah. tied to a bed. Yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, that. Okay, tied that's to a bed. Yeah. So yeah. as long as it's rope, no handcuffs. Because no you said, handcuffs. what is it with the handcuffs? Just, Have you been arrested you know, before? Never. Are you traumatized by handcuffs? I just wouldn't want to be handcuffed. Where is the key? So if someone ties you up to a bed, you prefer rope? So you said you're okay. I think about it. Yeah. Yeah, because you said you're okay with getting tied. So yeah, but not. I'm not from handcuffs. But like, I don't but know what is it about the? the is it the metal? Yeah, like I don't know. It all depends. It depends on what type of mood I'm in. Okay, but then what material would but they use to tie you? It could be. Okay. Let it be a ribbon or some shit. Oh, <laughs> a ribbon? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Wait, girl. No, no. A no, ribbon? Not, not no handcuff. Though. You are not going to be able to get. No, you're no, gonna, not no handcuff. But a ribbon would be so easy to get out of. A rope. A rope. Mm -hmm. A rope. rope. No, no. What if there were fuzzy handcuffs? Oh, cute. the fuzzy ones? Yeah, those are cute. That's what I'm saying. I yeah, feel those like, ones are cute. Yeah. yeah. Those ones are cute. She was thinking about the police ones. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about those ones. <laughs> the, the fuzzy ones, yeah, those are cute. Usually, like, the little kinky ones are usually, like, Yeah, fuzzy. those are good. Yeah. Well, all right. You guys survived the mood segment. <laughs> <laughs> With flying colors. And they, did, <laughs> and they did not skip any questions. I just knew they were going to skip, but they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> they held their own. Hot time. All right. Anyways. Well, now... We're going to go into the Will of Fame, but before we do, we have to hit you with a disclaimer. Will of Fame disclaimer. Koozie Talk guests are asked to spin the wheel featuring various notable public figures and choose one from the option that has to go, as in their careers never existed. Please note 
that the statements and choices made by our guests during this segment are their own personal opinions and preferences and do not reflect the views or opinions of the Koozie Talk podcast, its hosts, producers, or affiliates. The Koozie Talk podcast does not endorse or promote any negative sentiments or intentions towards any of the entities mentioned during the game. This segment is intended for entertainment purposes only and is meant to be a light-hearted and fun activity for our guests and listeners. Thank you for watching and enjoying the Koozie Talk podcast responsibly. All right, we're back. Wait, what? Ah, Danny, what? Danny's like, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. All right, so now we're on Will of Fame. I love this game. It's really fun. So who's gonna go first to spin the wheel? Birthday! Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you guys heard the disclaimer. One <laughs> never existed. One has to go. So birthday girl okay, goes cool. first. He'll spin the wheel. Yes. Cool. Okay. And let's see what it lands on. All right, Rugrats, Doug. Or Hey Arnold, one nine has to go. Yes, Nickelodeon oh, oh 90s cartoons. Yeah. One has to go. One never existed. Rugrats, Doug, Hey Arnold. What's it gonna be? This is a hard That's a hard one. one. It's a hard one. Hard. It's a hard one. It's super oh hard. God. I think I know what you're gonna pick. Uh, hey Arnold. Oh, I you, uh, you know what? I'm okay. actually going to agree with you on that one. I'm, I'm going to say her. I'm hey, going to say her on too because I love Doug and I love oh, Rugrats. I agree. Yes. This one wasn't that hard for me. I mean, I like but Harold, it was but hard, I like but, Harold too. But, yeah. Yeah. We are, no. but it wasn't that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. Helga right. was getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but so yeah. you're up next. You're up next. Like, breathing a little hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Wow, Comedi- female comedian. Oh, this is good. So this is Monique Samore, Tiffany Haddish. One career never existed. Samore. Samore. All right. No offense, but like, I grew up on Monique, and I kind of finished out with Tiffany Haddish. Right now. Okay, so, that's, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. <laughs> Danny. Yes. Again. Yes. So this one is. I don't. No, one has to go. Oh wow, we have a boxer category. So Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather. One career never existed. That's that's a hard one. That they're is all very, they're uh, all very memorable. Oh man, oh man. What's it gonna be, Danny? <laughs> oh no. This one is hard, y'all. Mike Tyson, um, Floyd Mayweather, or Muhammad Ali? <laughs> Mike Tyson. Really? I mean, yeah. Mike Tyson? You cannot get rid of Mike. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. That's hard. All right, so Danny says Mike. What about you, Sue? Just curiosity. I know. I would say Mike, too. Really? I would say Mike, too. Both of you guys say Mike? Because Muhammad. I, I, it was yeah. more of a... Um, I feel that. An activist. Oh, man. Yeah, he was that preaching was more on the community. Oh, man. All right. Floyd, I grew up with in Floyd. So. Okay. Right? Yeah, that All right. That was, that was a hard one. He's that a was, great fighter. That was, that was hard. That He's was a hard. very impactful. What about y'all? Politics. Floyd. Yeah. You know what? I have to agree with Ross Swagger. I would say Floyd because I cannot take out Mike and I cannot take out Mama Lee. I'm okay with Pretty Boy Floyd going. going. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Ooh. Oh Oh, my goodness. One has to go. Friday juice or class acts. Oh man, oh man. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Juice Friday is. juice or class act? This juice is hard. Is. Well, it can't be. So I just noticed that Hunter Hubbard is not on this game. Yeah, yeah. Hubbard. 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 Hubb
Really? Why did I marry you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Doug, I love Doug. Okay, go ahead. Class act. Class act. <laughs> Kid and play is out of here. Yes. Why? I gotta know why. I gotta know why. I think. The three of them together, Friday and Juice, more coincide with each other, first of all, when okay. it comes to like the storyline, the growing, okay. uh, the fair. politics, how it relates, yeah. upbringing, okay. neighborhood. That's fair. That's fair. Period. Okay. Yeah. Period. Yes. <laughs> all right, birthday girl. Yes. Yes. Come on. <laughs> okay. I hope you get a super hard one. <laughs> Wow, oh, and oh did. I knew it! I knew it! easy. Really? Damn, I wanted it to be hard. No! Yeah. Okay, so hers landed on SWV in Vulgar Escape, and she had the nerve to choose in Vogue. How dare her? In Vogue? Yeah. Why? I love Why in Vogue. In Vogue? <laughs> SWV in Escape, that's, that's my turn for Damn! In Vogue was before but, right. Yeah, no shade to involve. They have the gems, but that's the Escape is, is my type of I gotta be honest, I wouldn't know what to pick from this category, but I know in Vogue has to stay. Yeah, that's yeah, they have to stay. So it's just, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that because I wouldn't even know what to pick. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, see, so, that, see, look, you should have had that one. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna go again because I want you to get a tough one. I want you to, do, I want you to be stuck. <laughs> Oh wow, new oh, jacks. That's, that's the one I should have had. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so one has to go, one never existed. New, new Jack, Jack City, City Menace Society, Menace Society that's Boys in the Hood. That's, that's a hard one. New that's, Jack City. That is, oh, that was easy for you. Yeah. New Jack City. Yeah. All right, Sue yeah. says New Jack City. What about you, Danny? Yeah. No, you, I want you to answer now. Oh, honest? Yes. I'll say New Jack City. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. New Jack City has to go. Damn. That's a hard one for me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, birthday girl. Last spin and then. Okay, let's make this a good one. <laughs> Ross Swagger says class act easy. Both of you guys, hubby said it too. I gotta do it again. I'm actually shocked I by that. One twice. Kill me first. Yeah. I'm not picking. <laughs> the Alien girls, not fair. Ah. Wait, I'm shocked that you guys picked class act. Why? Oh, this one's like two kids play that game. I love fucking it. Print. <laughs> Dang, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, okay, wait. So you got two can play that game, Woo and Booty Call. I can't, I can't pick. I can't, I can't remember. What? This. Woo? No, I can't remember watching that movie. Okay, right. so you got to spin it again. Okay. No, no, no. You got to spin it again. I want you to know every two single. Can play no, that game and booty you got, call. this don't count. <laughs> you got to spin it again. So I want you to know everything on there. Okay. Yeah, it has to be fair. And I want it to be hard. Please. Yes. That's Back to the Future, okay. E.T. or Those Jurassic are all Park. Those are all good ones. Jurassic Park. I hate Jurassic that this is too Park? easy for you, Danny. Uh -huh. Why are you okay. getting rid of these things so easy? <laughs> I love so Jurassic, back to the like future ET Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Danny says Jurassic Park. Yeah. Why? Like, which, you were into the boring. dinosaurs? Like, boring. I was, I was not boring. I just wasn't into that type of stuff. Spin it again. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I like her movies. I'm sorry. Movies. I see. <laughs> Damn, I should have put Jason's lyrics on this. <laughs> Or point of justice. <laughs> yes. No, again, it's again. Yes, the same one. I hate that this game is easy for you. Wait, oh, same no, one. no, you, you gotta go again. You gotta go again. You gotta go again. Damn. What? Am I? <laughs> the same one. It's okay. Okay, it'll make you land on okay, something on. that you didn't get. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, this All right. Is good. All right. All right. Yeah. So she got a food category. Taco, burrito, or quesadilla. One has to go, one never existed. Taco. Why is this That's so taco. easy? A taco. Hey, like, this is really, do you like quesadillas and burritos? I love quesadillas. I love it. All right. Too. All right, Sue. Take it home. Okay. One last spin and we're going to move on. <laughs> Oh wow, we got oh. actors. So we have Idris Elba, Denzel Washington, Jamie Foxx. One career never existed. Oh, that's hard. That's a hard one. What's it gonna be? Denzel 
seen us I want my production of, like, to answer as well. Denzel had played a huge role on I a I want lot my production to roles. answer as well. So Denzel <laughs> What? <laughs> Interest? <laughs> Denzel really? Um, yeah, well, you, you know what? I think I may have to agree on that one, actually, okay. now I'm thinking about it, because Denzel, Jamie Foxx. I, I grew up on Jamie Foxx. So I love Mrs. Jamie, Jamie Foxx. Fox. And he's a Sagittarius, so I have to just align with him. <laughs> and then, you know, Denzel, I mean, Denzel. So, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I have to let go Denzel, of Idris, the Virgo. The Virgo got to go. That, yeah. <laughs> no offense to Virgos, but yeah, he has to go in that category. I agree. I agree. All right, that concludes the Will of Fame. You guys killed it. I hate Thank that. You. I hate that this was too easy for you, Danny. It was supposed to be like an evil game. You want me to spin one more time? But uh, yes, but I feel <laughs> like it's, it'd still be easy for you. I'll spin one more time for you. All right, come on, Danny. Come on, birthday okay. girl. Let me let me spin one more time. Because I hate that every single one. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. <laughs> Everything is easy. I'm gonna go to the left instead of the right. You eliminate shit fast. You're quick with it. Oh yes! All right. Now oh, this is a, this is a good one. I love this. It's easy, huh? Yeah, I love it. Easy. God damn it! She's gonna be quick I on her toes. All right, so she got. This is I good. Monsters. I rule monsters. Y'all remember that? If yeah. not, yes, you too, you too young that. if you don't remember that. But they got canceled. Right. Yeah. Cat dog or Ren and Stimpy. What are you gonna pick? This will determine okay, our friendship. One. Okay, no, for real. Okay. If you pick this? the one I think you hope, I hope you don't pick. <laughs> I'm gonna regret getting you a cake. Okay, so with this. Answer gonna, wisely, Danny. I'm gonna eliminate. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared for her answer. Okay, you guys, I love all three shows, okay? <sighs> Let me hit this blunt. <laughs> so with this one. I'm scared. I'm gonna have to eliminate our real monsters. Yes! Okay, so we're friends. Yes! Yeah. I was okay, as long as you didn't get rid of Ren and Stimpy. No, I love Ren. Because Ren. I love Ren I love and Ren Stimpy. Stimpy. I love Alright, so that's I love why it. we're friends. I love it. I love, I love Ren and Stimpy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That concludes the Will of Fame. You guys killed it. Thank and now you. we have some actresses in the building. They told me they want to do act out. I hope I could guess this. Oh my god. I I'm scared because lately my track record for Act Out has been terrible. I haven't been able to guess any of them. The, the two Tom Twins got me the, the previous episode. Last week they got me. They did Thriller. They did a fucking scene from Thriller. And then, and then they did the stupid sound like dee 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 dee. And, that's, and that's, what took, that's what really just fucked me up. And I just hope I can get it, goddammit. All right, so who's gonna go first? Birthday girl has to go first. Yeah. I'll so you first. let me know when you're ready and all your action. Get it together. Let me get it together. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I hope I can get this. <laughs> it's gonna be easy. Okay. Like you're gonna get it. All right. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. And action. Cow party on microwave. No, I want you to finish the scene. I yeah, know what it go is. Into character. No, I'm going to character girl. I'm not an action, but this is fun. Like, I'll, okay, girl, well, doing girl. I'll, the camera ain't here. You don't I'm even know not. where it is. I didn't even show you where the camera was. <laughs> okay, can I switch it? I'm gonna switch it. No, because it's so good. No. Okay, switch, switch it. it. Switch it. Switch I'm gonna switch it. It was Friday. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I want you to come first. Uh, it's your birthday. All right, we're gonna come back to you. Please. We're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna come, come back, back to Danny. We're gonna come back to birthday girl. We're gonna go with Sue. All right, okay, Sue. Go, Sue. Let me know when you're ready. I'll say action. I'm gonna get into character. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. And action. No, not my gun drop buttons. Okay, I'll tell you. Do you know <laughs> the Muffin Man? Shrek! Yes! The Muffin Man? Yes, Shrek. Ah, it's Shrek. Muffin Man. I knew that. Yes. Okay. That was good. Shrek. I love Shrek. Okay, that was good. Danny, are you ready, girl? <laughs> birthday girl. Birthday yeah, girl. I have to get into character. All right. Well, birthday girl's a met method actress, and so she's getting into character. While she does, I'm going to smoke. Shout out to Arts District Cannabis in downtown LA. And if you're ever in LA, Downtown LA to be specific. 
visit Arts District Cannabis and say promo code Cozy Talk for 25% off. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready, girl? She ready. And action. Boom. We're Craig it. <laughs> Not you doing the same goddamn movie, bitch. You done took the whole break. Wait a minute, I'm pissed. pissed. It's Friday, by the way. You done took that whole break to do the same movie? Yes, I, I you... did. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to come with a whole... Then, no. I'm going to yes. need you to go to that corner right over there. Okay, I'm going to go to my new... corner, y'all. Uh -huh. And think of a new scene. I'm mad as hell right now. That was the same goddamn movie, girl. You got more ah. movies than that. Uh, Go, think of another okay, movie. <laughs> what the hell? I'm pissed. <laughs> I, <laughs> she came back with the same goddamn movie. <laughs> and then say Craig. To both times. No, I thought you was going to do that, Sue, because you got the break. No, Sue was original. Girl, again. I'm busy. I'm mad. <laughs> birthday I'm girl, busy. no. Birthday girl. You got to come no, with it, girl. Yeah, birthday girl. No. Not the same movie. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready, girl. And I'm your action. <laughs> you want me to do another one? Oh, shit. Yeah, do another one while I think. Have Sue, have Sue do another one while I think. Why is Sue got all the scenes? Give her one of your scenes. Yeah, give it. Good, Galper. Do what? Can't be the same movie. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> okay. All right, all right, go, girl. You and ready? Scene. Okay. I already seen. All right, you all ready? Right. I can come out of my corner now. Yes. Are okay. you ready? Get in character. Where is your setting? Where are you at? All right, and action. <laughs> girl. Da 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 da. Forty five, forty seven. What All that? about the Benjamin. Yes. yes. <laughs> I was scared at first. I was like, am I going to get it? <laughs> I was traumatized. I thought she was doing the same movie again. That's why I did this. You know, but then I thought about it. I know it's not the same movie. You know it's, all about, movie. it's all about the Benjamin. All about the Benjamin. All about the Benjamin. That's a good one. Yes. Birthday girl killed it. Sue <laughs> killed it. Y'all both killed it. Yay. Yes. Shout out to Cozy Talk. Cozy Talk. Episode 26. That concludes Cozy Talk, guys. Thank you so Woo. much for tuning in. <laughs> Girls, throw some hearts. Woo. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave us a comment below. And to ensure you never miss out on our latest episodes, click that subscribe button now. See you next time on Koozie Talk. Bye.